What makes my store unique is that I handpick everything, which I know there's probably many stores that do that as well, but, but I'm picking these items. They speak to me, or the people that are representing these items or selling these items speak to me. So I've been in their community, I've met their families, I've had chai, and that's what's unique to me is because I know exactly where the things came from. I've hugged almost everyone that I've received product from, and I think that makes My name is Jennifer Day. The name of my business is World Aloha Trading. So it's very, very eclectic. There's everything from silk kimono robes from reclaimed saris made by women in Rajasthan making fair wage to handmade quilts from Rishikesh to antique Tibetan bells that I found in Nepal. So a real mix of a lot of different things. Great question, what is fair trade? Fair trade to me is ethical sourcing. So what it means for this store is that I know where everything comes from. I know the people that have purchased it, made it, generated it, created everything and I know that everyone's getting fair wage for either their product or their time. I got started by chance, really. I came back from India and I had been home about a week and kind of had this epiphany lightning bolt come through. Oh, I know what I want to do. <laughs> and uh, I wanted to make connections in the communities where I travel and make connections with the community here in Maui and bring these gifts to Maui in the same time supporting the communities where they come from. Everything came so organically and it was very unplanned. It was handed to me by the universe kind of one step at a time and it just morphed into fair trade because I was connecting with people in the community and that's the product I was bringing back with heart and with love and it just became fair trade. I've handpicked everything in this store, either myself or my children or my mother have helped me as well. So the, the care and the love I think that goes into bringing the product here to the store is unique. The fair trade I like is um, the fact that I know everyone that I get my products from and have a relationship with them. I think that's unique as well. And it's just an eclectic mix. It's not like anything else. What inspires me? Other people inspire me. They um, inspire me to do better participate in my community. My community inspires me, makes me want to be a good person and take care of each other, you know, to take care of the land and our community. People inspire me. Success for me looks like this. <laughs> it's being happy to me. Success is being happy, comfortable where you are in your life, grateful for everything, 
and most importantly that you have the people around you that hold you up, support you, you support each other. Success to me is having those people around you in that community. Advice that I would give to women would be to be yourself, to be your true self. Know your truth, stand up for your truth, speak your truth. So, especially young women, well, all women alike, right? We're all trying to find our place and be comfortable where we are. And what I found through my 48 years was to find that comfort within myself, to find that place where I was being true to myself and I was comfortable with myself, then I was comfortable wherever I was. Ability to love and the ability to trust in the face of adversity. Trust that the universe is a wonderful, amazing, abundant place. I feel like that's a strength. I own the shop, Royal well, Aloha Trading, of course, but I'm also a nurse. I work for a home health agency. I'm a mother of three amazing children, and I love yoga and the beach. So, so what does motherhood mean to me? That's a huge question. So, I immediately thought of my children, of course, but I also think of my mother and my grandmother, because that's motherhood to me. That's I grew up with two amazingly strong women. And then I think of my children, I think of what motherhood means is relationship. And it's a deeper level of friendship. I'm friends with my children. They're older now, so it's on a different level. So it's friendship. It's just 100% acceptance of who they are and basically helping them along their path, not pushing them in a direction that we want them to go, but supporting them into where they want to go. I'm grateful for my children, for my parents, my family, my friends. I'm grateful for Maui, and I'm grateful for myself. I'm grateful for the person that I have become and where I am. So my other hat, well, another one of my hats is being a nurse. I am not hands-on anymore, even though that was a huge part of my nursing career. And I loved it so much being able to care for people and being there in their deepest needs state. I was a trauma nurse and I was in the emergency room. So really seeing people, this really vulnerable state and being able to help and be supportive. And, and now I'm helping from the other side. I'm on the administrative side for a home health agency that is just so amazing. The services that we provide going into the home and, and the community and helping people live their fullest life and seeing the progress that our staff make towards their clients. It's such a beautiful connection and I'm honored to be in this next phase of my nursing career and I support from the from behind the, behind the scenes now. To give back to the community, what I do is everyday things. So I call it seva. So it's a Hindu term for service. And to me, that's being a part of your community. That's smiling at your neighbors and the people that walk by. It's picking up trash on the street. And it's um, having an awareness of what's around you and what's in your community and trying to participate in any way you can. I think I'm most proud of Perseverance uh, is my accomplishment, is persevering through life, going to school, having children, 
having a career and opening this store, that's what I'm most proud of. My supergirl power is faith, I think. Faith in people, faith in myself, faith in all of our adventures, and the ability to love. What makes me feel beautiful? A lot of things, a lot of things. Meditation, all of the self-care, to take the time in the morning to not be rushed and to honor myself. And when I'm honoring myself and doing this, the self-care, just going through the motions of all of it and taking care of myself, that's when I feel the most beautiful, is when I'm well cared for from within.